come on in. Welcome to Art Club. How are you doing? Do you have your wobbly stick? Is the most important question. <laughs> Marlous is here. Hello Marlous, how are you doing? That's a nice friendly face to see. Sarah Lacey's here. The whole gang, it feels so early. Does Helen's sister popped in. Hello Helen. Let me add you. How do I do it? There's Helen. So I've got my wobbly stick, but I feel like I may have made my wobbly stick too wobbly. Wobbly stick present. Good. Who said that? That was. Oh, hello. Is hello, Kitty. Hello. How's it, how's it going? Isn't it nice to, to be too. Uh, I can't speak. Isn't it nice yes. <laughs> to be doing it in the light? It's so nice. Yeah. It feels like the, the middle of the day, doesn't it? It's lovely. So nice. Luxurious. I'm trying to remember when the clocks changed. Does that help as well? Is that why it's light as well? I think so. Did they change just before the last one? I think it was mm. sort of like a little bit late at eight o'clock, but getting um, dark. Um. Turn up. <laughs> hey, we're here. there's Ralphie. Oh. Hey, Ralphie W. Mm. How well, very wobbly stick. Let's see your wobbly stick. We were comparing what we said. Oh, look at this. Already has it... ink on it. Have you been... Pro oh, yeah, well, you made the video. You have to practice. I made the video, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let you off. <laughs> it's an old coat hanger with some masking tape. Oh, I've just put ink on my hair. Oh, no. It's, a, it's an old coat hanger chopped up with a stick and an elastic band. Ha-ha. <laughs> Mine is an old coat hanger. And a stick with some cable ties because we didn't have any elastic bands. But it's very wobbly, like it sort of vibrates. Well, earlier on we met in your garden, didn't we, for the first real life meetup in I don't know how long. And your, I think your stick, like my stick is bouncy and a bit wobbly because of the elastic band, but yours, because the wire is so long, yours has got its own unique wobble. That's true. And you've already given me rules, haven't you? Because I was saying, oh, well, I could hold it from here and draw and the waggly finger came right. out. No, Katie. <laughs> no. That's just drawing with a stick. <laughs> <laughs> just hold it here. <laughs> really good control. Nobody will know. Hmm. What are hey, people saying? Loads of people come in. Moira is waving hers around. Yes, that's part of the preparation. You have to wave your wobbly stick around. Sarah Lacey's got a DIY brushes from last time. Oh, that's good. Very good. They count. That's still just as Which good as a wobbly. She says hers is not wobbly enough. She secured it too well. Mm. Gotta be wobbly. There's a lot of variables this week. I feel. <laughs> <laughs> what what have you got? To, what have you got to draw? Um, I've got a big bunch of flowers. I'll swivel you around so you can see them. Oh, they're Ooh. nice. Are they? Wow, they're lovely. Where did you get the roses? Are they from a from your garden already? No, from a no. from a flower person. Yeah, like on very the nice But I like these foliage bits. I can't see them. They're, they're nice. Oh, you've got the money, the illustrator plant. I've got the illustrator's plant and I've got... It's looking um, very healthy. Yeah, I've flower moved thing. it to a different windowsill. It's really enjoying the different windowsill. I've also because you're an pop. illustrator as well. <laughs> A cup, and I've got your Stella, your niece, Stella. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the family resemblance and is strong. I've got a Play Playmobil man, Knight. Isn't he cool? He's very cool. He's got a shiny helmet and a shiny vest. He's a knight in shining armour. I love it. Oh, you're frozen. Oh, no. You froze oh. a little bit, too. You're back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we've got right. we've got new internet now, so it should be really good. We went we, we sorted it out at last. Uh -huh. really Maybe exciting. it's me because I have to. If I'm downstairs, I have to be on one Wi-Fi connection, but I've got one of those extenders. So if I'm upstairs, uh, yeah. I have to be on another one, and sometimes I forget to check. So yeah. if, if we do have problems, I might just like nip out and check which connection I'm on. We'll keep an eye on it. I'm just I'm putting ink into my tray, ready for drawing. I also, I wanted to check with you the art club police first. Got some pens. Am yeah. I allowed to sellotape these pens onto the stick? Oh, I think that's quite a good idea. Okay, good. Approved. We've got two pens. Got a felt tip and an mm -hmm. olive pen. 
<laughs> I'm just going for ink. I've got my bottle of ink. Actually, it feels a bit empty. I might need to top it up. Or oh, I've got another one here that's got a splash of ink in the bottom. I can hear that one. I'll use that one. Well, that's good. Yeah. I've got my I've got my ink in a lunchbox, but it's been a little warped by the dishwasher, so it's kind of in, <laughs> in one corner. I've got this really nice brown paper. Ooh, nice. Is yeah. this big? Is, that, is it a giant sketchbook? It was, but I've just taken the sketchbook apart. I just preferred it as big pieces of paper. Amazing. So I vandalised it, took it apart. I've got a big pad of newsprint. Ooh, nice. But I'm going to, yeah. because it'll be all wet, I'm going to rip the pages before I work on them, and then I can put them on the floor. Otherwise you get mm. trapped, don't you? Mm. I'm very I've scared, my, I must say. I've got my Edna's clips. Come on, Mum. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that good acting? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> What's Claire you Davis ever me to find a Playmobil man? I really, really love drawing Playmobil men. I have a blue one that I've been drawing for ages. I enjoy drawing him so much that I went on eBay and ordered myself two new ones. So I've got a knight and then. Another one, I'm not sure where he is. I love that you have a collection of Playmobil. I also found this new spooky doll. She's pre-war Japanese and she's made of beasts. Isn't she lovely? She's, lo she's definitely haunted. That's she's like your doll with the wobbly legs. Oh yeah, you know my, doll with, I mean. my doll with the wobbly legs. Where's she gone? Oh no, I don't know where she is, but I've got this one with weird arms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. <laughs> And then there's the one with the dead eyes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's a famous one we've seen yeah. on the complimentary colours and collage. Uh, I really love drawing dolls. There's so, something so appealing about them. I like this one's little boot. She's got, like, boots on or something. Wow. Like some boots that just attach the feet. Mm. Yeah, they're just part of the Very feet. They've just drawn a blue line round. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's pretty really cool. <laughs> uh, somebody said something there. Who is it? Jasmine says, "I thought I couldn't join because I've no ink, but now I can make one quick with a pen." Harry, yeah, it's been approved. The fella taping a pen on. So creepy collection of dolls. Yeah, you can't beat a creepy doll. Should okay, we get going then? Home. Yes, let's do it. Should we do a warm up one? Yes. Yeah. For anybody who hasn't been to art club before, we usually have. A theme for the night, and tonight, if you haven't worked it out, is like a stick stuck to a bit of wire to dip in ink or paint. And we do a series of time drawings, and we usually start off really tight, like one minute, then three minutes, then five minutes, and we build up. And the only rule, when I say only rule, there are actually tons of rules because I'm really strict about everything. But the one rule that we always have is you have to draw something in front of you and not something from your head. No imagination drawing. Yeah. <laughs> no imagination allowed. No fun no. allowed. <laughs> oh, there's Tanya. Hello, Tanya. And Tanya's Yay. also one of the good chip and she's our bouncer in the comments. So if you have questions and things while we're drawing, we're rubbish because we're busy. But Tanya can help you out if you're like, what? How long was that one? What's going on? Who am I? Tanya has the <laughs> answers. Hey. Okay. Should we do a minute? Let's do it. Okay. I'll tilt you down so you can see my masterpiece. There we are. Um, oh, I had a good... Oh, there they are. I was going to say I had a good pair of scissors I quite fancy drawing. I found them. Right. Oh. Are you ready? Um, I suppose so. <laughs> right. Okay. Go. This is one minute. One minute, okay. Yeah. Oh, already very wobbly. Oh, jeez. So uh, not only I... do we have the unpredictability of the stick, <laughs> <laughs> the madness the, of the, the wobbling. Also wobbly, and the ink is splodging. It's nice. <laughs> it makes good marks, though. It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I need to give up trying so hard. I'm just gonna, like, that's probably a good thing. Yeah. Don't try so hard. Just let it go. Right. I've drawn the scissors. 
really, really technical, accurate drawing of scissors. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Helen, this doesn't look like anything. <laughs> It's flowers, guys. Okay, be nice. You've got you've got fifteen seconds to fix it. Oh no! <laughs> I need more time. I need a pen. Okay. Pull pull yourself together, Chapel. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it can't be. Are you ready to see my beautiful drawing? Okay. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> it's it flowers. Like birds plummeting from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. I was looking out the window. I wasn't drawing the flowers. <laughs> yes. I've got what? How did you get this level of control? <laughs> Maybe my elastic band isn't as bouncy as a long piece of wire. Maybe the beautiful, <laughs> <laughs> lovely lines. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it further down next time. That's cheating. <laughs> Peter, you've oh, made yourself a really, really, really tricky one. The wire is so. Long. <laughs> I blame Cameron because I was like, "Help me make my wobbly stick," and he was like, "Industrial size." <laughs> I think you should just. Put your paper outside. <laughs> stick your stick outside. Just draw with your eyes closed like it's drawing under a box. <laughs> I could channel my drawings. That's all, they always come out quite well when I do that, when I channel them. <laughs> That's brilliant. I really like that. Uh, <sighs> yeah. Sarah Lacey says, how did you do that? I think Helen is cheating. I am not it's cheating. Not, it's not really a wobbly but stick. My wire isn't like three meters long. <laughs> <laughs> Yours is is bent. Do you think that's part of the magic as well? I think it might be. Maybe that kind of counteracts the wobble. Oh, it does a bit. Okay. Oh, that's better. I've, I've sort of bent it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like know that. what as well, Katie? I bet you can't hold the wire because it'll keep twisting around in your hand. Maybe you need to stick a bit of masking tape on it so that it can't like spin around in your hand i've got some tape here so i'll that's do that it. That's, that's a it. very that's good idea mean. that first drawing was an experiment i'm not going to get a new piece of paper i think i'm going to just carry on the paper's really big and my drawing's right in the middle so i'm going to stick with this piece of paper for the next one that's a good idea jf Broad got... says that his wire is zigzag shaped so is mine i think that's the key Ah, I see. This is good with giving tips. How to make your wobbly stick not too wobbly, but wobbly enough that you don't have control. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look, now I've got a handle. That's it. That's it. That's ah, that's way better. Okay, I'm excited again. This is good. Do you need to snap your stick a bit shorter? Maybe. Yeah, it's quite long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try that as well. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, now, yeah. now there we're talking. Go. There you go, there you go. I've graduated <laughs> to advanced stick. Oh, brilliant. <coughs> Ink it up. Okay. We could do a before right. and after, couldn't we? Like after after stick therapy. Yeah. I had a, a stick consultation. Yeah. And with a few tweaks, it was a useful um, thing again. Shall we do two minutes this time? Let's do two minutes, yes. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Go. I'm ready. Oh, oh that's, I can draw now. Has that helped? It's helped a lot. It's still wobbly and crazy, but it's slightly controllable. Oh, this doll. She's got your cheeks, Katie. That's what it is. She's got your famous cheeks. These are award-winning cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so nice to draw. Hmm. 
We've got some doves in the garden and they're cooing to each other out there. They sound so lovely. Oh, I think the one thing a dove cut, I think that would be so nice to have actual doves that live in your garden. The only thing is yesterday we also had a um, a kestrel in the garden eating a blackbird. Oh, no. oh well, that's not nice. I don't know whether they'll eat doves. It'd be, it, you know, I'm not I think wishing harm do. on the kestrel because it's good that the kestrel is managing to survive in the town but don't take yeah. the doves not the doves <laughs> sign of peace i'm gonna yeah i'll put a sign up <laughs> no <laughs> eating of the pigeons or the yeah. doves yeah <laughs> oh. <coughs> Playmobil man looks really funny. It's also hard to control how much ink goes out. It that's, is. That's, a, that's a stick thing, isn't it? Mine starts with a really, really big blob on the first bit. Ah! Ah. <laughs> okay. okay. Time's up. Time's up. Hey. Oh, those Playmobil people look so cute. <laughs> That's my um, doll with your cheeks. Oh, she's running. Yeah. Oh, no, dribbly legs. The Playmobil guy. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, this is. Ooh. Now this is a big there. iris. Yes, I can actually draw things now. Uh, that's it. <laughs> but without being in control. But still a little bit in control. Oh, Amber. She's going to join us later because she's prepping for her private class. Ooh. 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 Yeah, private class. <laughs> Get you in your private class. <laughs> We're not bullying you. I'm sure it's a very good private class. <laughs> we can just call our art club private class, can't we? Yes. I had a nap before to prepare for my private class. <laughs> it's very important. Very I nice. think it was from socialising. I'm not used to speaking to people in real life anymore. I said exactly the same thing when I came back. I was back about an hour. I had a cup of tea and a Jaffa cake. And then I was so worn out. I said to Jerry, I think it's just seeing people. I feel absolutely shattered. I was yeah. completely worn out. It was nice same. though, wasn't it? It was so nice. And so sunny as well. Yeah, it was lovely. Ooh. Oh, Viv's here. Hello, Viv. Hey, there's Viv. Hooray. I hope you've got a wobbly stick, Viv. <laughs> if you have, we want to see it. I have got a feeling Viv, she posted a picture of a wobbly stick earlier, I think. I think she did. Top marks. Hey. <laughs> yeah, Tanya said she was worn out as well. Yeah, I think we've all forgotten how to socialise. Yeah. Oh, it was such a treat, though. It was so lovely. I came back feeling really like, like I'd had a reset. And I felt human again, and it was lovely. People, yes, yeah. no screens, just human oh. beings. And and I got I got I stole a couple of jars out of your garage, so I'm pleased with those. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're allowed. <laughs> oh, that's good. Viv does have a wobbly stick. Very wobbly. Yeah, I thought so. Excellent. Um, for anybody who doesn't know picture hooks, you should go and look them up because picture hooks. Um, at their website, I, al I always search picture hooks illustration Edinburgh, and that always brings them up. And they um, do a mentorship a mentorship scheme for picture book illustrators. So if you want to get in picture books and you fancy a year of being mentored by a professional picture book illustrator, they're your people. They're brilliant. And I've been a mentor for them twice. It's so much fun. I get as much out of it as the illustrator that I think I get more out of it than the illustrator I'm mentoring. <laughs> it's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. And also Lucy and Viv are so lovely as well. They really are. Good humans. Good humans. Lucy good human lovely. beings. Listen, oh, look. Gray. Yeah. Lavender yeah, stalk. Nice. Oh, yeah, that's That'd a good be very idea. wobbly. Mm. I saw somebody post a reel and they'd used a really long branch as a wobbly stick. That was good lines came out of that. 
that's a good idea. I think people got so excited they just went out and did it straight away. <laughs> right, should we set the timer for another one? <clears throat> Let's do it. Have you noticed I've barely made one mistake with the time mistake one mistake with the timer over the last six months have you noticed that i've really brushed think, up my timer skills yeah like got it all out of your system yeah. <laughs> and then, that was it yeah because i've never used the timer in ages yeah i think it's, i've got, got, I've, the got rubbish grip, timer. I've got to grips with how to set a timer now <laughs> <laughs> you sometimes give us extra seconds as well don't you very generous Extra yep. three seconds I will, here, two I seconds will this here. time. We'll have three minutes and 11 seconds. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm spoiling you. <laughs> Are you 11 ready? 11 seconds. Use them wisely. <laughs> I'm hey, ready. Guys, Jules. Hi, Jules. Jules, Hello, you've Jules. got three minutes and 11 seconds for the next drawing. Go. <laughs> right. Excellent. I'm going to draw. I've got a little man in a kilt on the desk. I'm going to draw him. Oh, he sounds good. I need to see him after. He he tells me what day it is and what date it is, which is wow. important. Does he have a little calendar under his kilt? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like part of my breakfast routine is to flip the calendar over and see what day it is. <laughs> Look under his kilt. <laughs> yeah, have a little, have a little peek. <laughs> oh, it's Tuesday. <laughs> oh, God. I want to say something rude, but I won't. <laughs> well done. So restrained. We might. We, it's seven o'clock. Lots of children will be early. I think people are not used to the new time yet because of the. There's normally a few more people on. Yeah, it's but a quiet one. It is the first time that we've done it with this earlier time, so we'll let everyone off. We're just doing it an early time for April, so three weeks of early time. Another to this week and another two weeks. Is that right? Of early yeah. seven yeah. o'clock, and then after that, we're actually. I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to shake it up a bit, so. Um, we might do some lunchtime ones over the summer, so I think if you don't want to miss it, it's probably a good idea to get to sign up on our newsletter. Yeah, which that's when you, there's where a, you get all the info. Yeah, exactly. I think I'd better sign up for it in case I miss it as well. <laughs> yeah, today, if it's not all day, I was like, I must remember seven pm, seven pm, and then it was six o'clock. I was like, okay, one hour, quick, remember. Yeah, so I, felt, I felt really like I've got to remember otherwise Katie will be there going hello <laughs> where are you that's never ever happened no never ever I wouldn't really forget Art Club it's too much fun to forget <laughs> I remember in the early days when we first started and I would always be like is Helen here for the first <laughs> bit and you'd be yelling I'm here <laughs> <Never again." laughs> I'll stop doing that now <laughs> this, this man's got a funny face. This is great. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, no, 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 no. I did too much. The timer said that's it. Time's too much off. fun. Stop. <laughs> I just need to do his leg and then we'll be all right. I don't pick mine up because the ink will run, so I'll just slide, try to slide the pictures under the camera. And I manage that. Oh, oh, there we are. Oh, look at those. <laughs> I like the thick and the thin lines and the belly button <laughs> yeah it's nice because the stick starts off with a really thick blob and then gets thinner and thinner and thinner can I see your Scottish calendar man oh yeah so I'll show you the real man first mm -hmm. 
So this is him. <laughs> oh, <brilliant. laughs> and then when it's the next day, you just flip it over. I love it. Wow. Oh, that's it's good. Good. It is the 17th, isn't it? Sometimes I get confused. Yes. I don't know. And then, and then this is this is him. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's brilliant. Look at him. <laughs> I love his giant hands. <laughs> <laughs> Meaty fingers. <sighs> Somebody's drawing with a bit of jasmine, I saw. Oh. That's very exciting. Sarah Lizzie's exploded, exploded, I think. Oh, really? Pow, pow, pow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the 16th? Oh, it's the 16th. Thank you, everyone. See, oh. this is... This is why I have a calendar and it's not actually working. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> <it's cute. laughs> I don't ne really need to know the date mm -mm. in life. No. Should we do a longer um, one? Yeah, let's do a longer one, see how we get on. What about 7 minutes and 11 seconds? What about 11 seconds again? Yeah, 7 minutes, 11 seconds. That's okay. That's like as there's opening times, isn't it? Seven to eleven. <laughs> <laughs> right. Other oh, supermarkets are, are available. I'm ready. <laughs> okay, go. Oh, I wouldn't live without Asda. Asda is right, <laughs> just like two minutes from our house. In fact, if we jumped over the fence of our garden, we'd be in Asda. And I mean, it's like. It's basically crisp city, really, in Asda. These are clothes and crisps. But, um, Their yeah. crisp selection is unrivaled. It you. is. Do you know, our neighbours went in there and they bought, in fact, Wynne might be here. You know our mascot, Wynne? Oh, yeah, Her dad went in there and he bought every single type of crisp you could get in there. Every <laughs> single one. Like, he <laughs> filled up a whole supermarket trolley and he brought it home and he said to the kids, right, try them all, tell me which one you like best. And they had a day of just sampling every single crisp as the cells. Oh my God, that is my dream. <laughs> what, is... How is that for making your own fun? Isn't that That's brilliant? Amazing. Yeah. And affordable too, because crisps aren't that expensive, are they? Yeah, but cheaper think... than a day out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go, it's weather, it doesn't depend on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Do you have a favourite crisp? Is it the Erdnuss Flip? It's um, between the Erdnuss Flip and the Marks and Spencer's Stick Crisp. Oh, like the salt and vinegar ones, or the salt? No, no, ones? not not the puffy ones. The ones that are literally like a really little thin. Oh yes, you've you know? you've brought them to my house before. I think in the past. Oh, they're the best. I'm going to guess your favourite crisp. Okay. Right. I'm trying to think of what my um, favourite crisp is. <laughs> oh, right. Got one. Oh, no, this is not a good start. <laughs> I'll just say yes or no. Depends on how it sounds. Mm, nah. Is it the cheesy what's it? No, definitely not. No. I mean, is I'm not the... averse to a cheesy what's it, but they're just dirty. Is it a skip? No, not a skip. <laughs> uh, a Pringle? <laughs> I do I love a Pringle but it's not a Pringle oh I give up now you're gonna have to tell me my, fav <laughs> my top favourite flavour would be a cheese and onion Tyrrells crisp oh what are they Tyrrells yeah like the are. sort of kettle chip sort of thick ones oh yeah they're fancy I've got a fancy taste you see yeah I, for me kind of the cheaper the better except for the end <laughs> split the end oh yeah they're, they're quite bourgeois aren't they yeah they're organic as well so. <laughs> <laughs> although somebody did post me a picture of something very very similar but with a different name from Lidl oh. it was like a, a fake Ernest flip wow yeah it takes a call in the caterpillar scandal that's going on <gasps> at the moment yeah. raging in the UK yeah it's very exciting. unbelievable. I can't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speechless. I say everyone should be allowed to make a call in the caterpillar cake. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm not, not going to admit it thing. here, but I've, <laughs> I've made one myself before. <gasps> you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you brand it Turley Stevens or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Call it Brian. <laughs> <laughs> That would be that would make it allow Brian the caterpillar. Yeah, as long as I don't call it Colin. We've got three minutes left. Ooh. I can't believe the nonsense that you talk here, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. These are serious current affairs I'm discussing. <laughs> I come here with my highbrow discussion topics and you ruin it. <laughs> People need to know <laughs> about Colin the Caterpillar and our favourite crisps. It's very important. <laughs> oh, I love drawing with a wonky stick. You can't really tell it what to do, can you? It's great. It goes this on is how I imagine, you, you know, if you could draw like when Matilda makes things move with her mind. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is what that, what drawing would be like if you were holding the pencil with your mind. Yeah. <laughs> right, I've got space gist. for... I've got space for one more doll, but I've run out of dolls. Oh, uh, I'm going to oh. just draw the Playmobil guy again. You won't mind. Ah, oh, he's so nice to draw. <laughs> we went for a garden visit with my mum and dad. I haven't seen them for so long. We went for a oh, visit. Yeah, was it was so nice. And my dad lit a fire in the garden. And then he started playing with it, poking a stick in it and setting the stick on fire. Then suddenly he was using the stick to draw with. And I thought, oh, we could have a make your own charcoal drawing night in the summer. Is that, so is it just like a, could you draw with a charcoal -y, like a charcoal? Yeah, he drew with it. He drew with it. He stuck it in the fire till it was really black and then blew out the flame and then drew with it. In fact, I took a little film of it. Oh, it was did. brilliant. Mm. I can't wait. We were talking today, weren't we, about doing a a giant stick drawing night. Mm. Oh, that'd be so good. Can't wait for that. And it'd be so good to do it outdoors. I've stopped drawing because I've filled my piece of paper and the composition is really nice. I'm so chuffed with it. So I'm not going <laughs> to touch it anymore. You had a word with yourself. Serious word with myself. I'll spoil it if I do anything else. Oh, I spoil really it. like this one. Mm. From what I can see, it looks very pleasing. Is the is the ink kind of bleeding into that brown paper as well? Not really. It's good. No, it doesn't bleed in. It just sits on the top and dries on the top. Nice. Yeah, it's good. That's what you want. I'm gonna mop up all the big drips. Ah! Hi. That scared me. Kate Beaver says yes to giant sticks. Yeah, that would be so much fun, wouldn't it? JF like says Worcester sauce French fries. Do you remember them? Worcester sauce French no, French I don't fries. remember them. They're niche crisps. don't remember. It's like um, knickknacks. They were a favourite as well. Oh, yeah, knickknacks. I don't, I'm not going to pick it up because I think I'll um, make it run. But um, it's look at that! Lots of. Oh. I love the first one on the top left. That is she got a leg on the other oh, is reverse, isn't it? The top right. oh, over here. Yeah, <laughs> with a <her> leg sticking <laughs> out is brilliant. I love it. <laughs> so good. This is flowers. Oh, Ooh. that's lovely. I feel that like it looks like lovely. a fashion illustration. 
I was going to say you should have that made in, like blow it up massive into a big poster for Habitat. That would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah. Habitat, if you're watching, you've got your next poster ready. <laughs> They'll be in touch. <laughs> I've lost the earphone. Sorry, that was really noisy. Right. What, where are we at? Oh, we're at 7.35. This is the time where we usually get really into being... Oh, yeah, um, we need what's to get into the zone. Into the zone, yeah. Right. Tracy Aitken says they look like a little tough gang. <laughs> Your doll. They are. Spooky gang. Yeah. Shall we do um what about a ten minute? Oh yeah, let's do it. Long one. Ten minute. But I'm gonna be mean and you're not having the eleven seconds, okay? Why not? <laughs> it means it's just how a bit I harsh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> she giveth and she taketh away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, go. Dun, dun, dun. Now, what do I want to draw this time? Actually, I'm going to just disappear under my table for a minute because I think I've got another spooky doll underneath there somewhere. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Come out from under there, what are you doing? <laughs> I've got loads of boxes just full of stuff that I like to draw at art club and I've found my other spooky doll with the grumpy face and the wobbly legs. Oh yes, she's my favourite. You know, I feel like we could I could do with another studio. So I've got like my studio outside the house. I could do with another one just for art club drawings and art club stuff. Oh yeah. Imagine. Me too. That'd be, That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Can't you get Cameron to get rid of his lovely old vintage car and we can just do it in there? That would be cool. Yes, I'll tell him that. I'll <laughs> get rid of the car. Park that outside. Doesn't matter about it getting dirty or wet or whatever. Um, yeah, it's a studio now. That car is amazing. It's so lovely. Did you go out for a trip this afternoon? We did. It was fun. We went out to the countryside um, uh, and just sort of pootled around. Nice. <laughs> we, were, we were out driving and Cameron was like, do you like just going for a drive? And I was like, yeah, do you? And he was like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, yeah, that was I like, love just going yeah. for a drive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very relaxing. You don't have to do anything. It's yeah. interesting to look at stuff. Also, I really like just taking a turn in that you've never taken before and see where it ends up. Yes, I love doing that too. When we were Glorious. kids, that was my dad's absolute favourite thing. So he'd fill up the car with kids, all cousins and my brother and sister and all of us in the car. Some of us would have our heads out of the roof light. Some of us would just be hanging out the windows. Some of us in the boot because this is pre-seatbelt time. And, um, <laughs> yes. He'd go and find any private land that he could. Or wherever he saw a gate that said private, he'd just open the gate and drive into it. And um, <laughs> and we and it was always instructions that we had to shout really loud out the windows. And so we did this once, and it was in the estate of a castle. And then this woman with a like riding jacket on and white gloves came trotting up to us. So Dad stopped the car, wound down the window and said to whisper to us lot, are you ready? And just as she got <laughs> near, he just went, bye, and drove off. And we were all shouting out the windows and screaming <laughs> further into the estate. Uh, yeah. That so sounds brilliant. brilliant. It was. <laughs> she was just like, what is going on? <laughs> Almost as fun as buying every crisp in Asda. I'd say that's up, up there with crisp testing, definitely. Yeah. You just couldn't resist a private road. Every time we went anywhere, if you saw a private road, we had to go down it. <laughs> Rebels. 
I bet your dad would be the rebel sketchbooker in the quiz. He definitely would. There'll be lots of people doing that this week. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? It's really good fun. I love it. I like it when people take it a few times trying to get a different result. <laughs> They're like, I do. Why don't I, I do. get the same one? <laughs> I do that as well. Like, oh, I don't want to be that result. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> That's cheating. You know what we should do after this? We should what? let ourselves use a normal pen. It's going to feel so controllable. Oh. <gasps> yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I might use like a, a non-wobbly stick. I might use a stick oh. that's not wobbly. Controversial. Mm -hmm. It'll be like when you're doing blind drawing and then you're allowed to see again. Yeah, the results are always more interesting, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Like your eyes start working better. Yeah, you look, you, you look better. Definitely. Yeah. And also you're freer, <laughs> like you're not restrained by everything, trying to make everything exactly the way it looks. You're not restrained by that, you're freer. You can play around with sizes and yeah, it's great. God, I love art club. Magic. Yeah. Magic for your drawing brain. It is. It's just nice to have that bit of space every single week to play. Yeah. When you don't have to make something for a brief yeah. or do something to a deadline or anything like that. Yeah. It doesn't even matter if it looks good or like that as well. Yeah, exactly. when you don't worry like how something's going to turn out that's actually when the magic happens and things do work out there's nothing mm -hmm. worse than the pressure of really hoping and trying to make something work or having a preconceived idea on your head of what it's going to be like it can be a killer so it's really nice to just just let go of a preconception or or um or of just the need for it to be good yeah, and even letting go of a style because I think a lot of the time when we're doing these crazy things, you can't <laughs> you can't control it enough to have a style, can you? Yeah, exactly. Like you just make marks that come out. And you're like, oh, that's but, what happened. Oh well. Exactly, and this is this is where your own voice lies, actually, because you're not trying to be anything. I'm going to start a new picture because I've finished one and I don't want to mess it up. But this is partly yeah. where finding your own voice comes from by just really playing in a very relaxed way without trying to follow a style or be like an illustrator that you like or yeah it's a really really good way to find out who you are and get yourself unstuck if you feel that you've been creatively blocked or scared to start something yeah blasts all of that out of the way sometimes when we've done this i just now i'm just so into it i just sit and draw into the evening because I've just got into that lovely play mode and I don't want to leave it. It's so nice. Yeah, I love it when that happens. Sometimes that even goes to the next morning. I'll wake up on a Saturday morning and be like, okay, yeah. I can take my sketchbook out with me. I feel yeah. all G'd up by art club. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I've just left all the stuff out and sat down again the next morning. <laughs> I get told off for that every week. <laughs> like, why is this still a mess? <laughs> Well, luckily, luckily, Jerry and Frieda are just as messy as I am, so they don't notice. No, oh, that's good. Yeah. Can I move in too? <laughs> <laughs> Another messy We're person. all, all of us are really, really messy, and all of us have always got our own creative projects going on at the same time. Honestly, the house, especially since lockdown, it's just, <laughs> it's like a house of crazy people. There are so many projects everywhere. At the moment, Pi is making them a really big life-size cutout of Tom Holland who plays, plays Spider-Man. <laughs> Amazing. 
she's also making a um an iron man helmet so the kitchen table we can't eat there and we haven't been able to eat there for about six months <laughs> because the helmet is taking shape at the table yeah the helmet is a priority i would say never it mind is. meals totally is yeah I take it the Avengers thing is still happening. Oh, in your yeah. house. Oh, honestly, that's all we hear about all the time. It's so good though. <laughs> it's, it's she's had so many creative spin-offs from it. She's made so many things related to it. Like it set her imagination off in a brilliant way. It's amazing. That's what you want. She's writing a novel at the moment. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, she's writing a novel. It's it's incredible. And she really, really wants to get it published. And she keeps asking me, how do I do it? Who do I write to? What shall I do? And it's really hard because I don't want to say, no, don't do it because it'll be really hard to get it published because I don't want to discourage her. I think I'm just going to let her, I'm going to just let her do it and tell her about rejection letters are part of the job and enjoy them. Because I don't want to say, no, don't do it. She can send yeah. it to who she likes. And... It's much better to like decide, figure out for yourself what's going to happen. and Yeah, exactly. Without other people's ideas, isn't it? Ooh, there we are. Stop. Hey. Yeah, we were ju I was just telling her today about, like, I've forgotten how many rejection letters J.K. Rowling had. When I Millions. started out, I, every time I'd get a rejection letter, I used to stick them in a folder, and I had a folder full of rejection letters from, like, Peng, like all the publishers, Penguin and I don't know, Random House, everybody. And then like within a year of just persisting and just constantly sending them stuff, then I was published. But I kept all those letters and they were like, they were like a precious thing. And I, yeah. somehow in one of my moves, I've lost it. And I'm so sad. I really wish I could find it. Anyway, I was telling Frida about that. And I was telling her about your project where you decided to try to get 100 rejection letters. So I thought it might excite her about sending it out and seeing if she gets some rejections. Yeah. <laughs> it's so good to yeah. shift into that gear of like re rejection is yeah. a good thing, isn't it? And yeah. then you're kind of going for it rather than being like, oh, if one person says no, I will be a shell of my former self. Yeah. yeah. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> People saying pie is amazing, go pie. Yeah. 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 You never know, somebody yeah. might like it. Somebody might publish it because... I think maybe about three years ago, I was listening to the radio and so, so, a publisher published a novel by like a 14 or 15 year old. And it was the youngest ever published novel. It was like a teenage novel by, written by a teenager. So you never know. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing as well, isn't there? There's, there's room for everything. Mm. It feels it's wrong like, to say no. When you're at, when we're at Bologna and there was all the licensing for stuff and we're like, oh, horrible. But some people are so excited about it. Yeah, yeah. I feel it's as if I'd be, if I said, no, you're not allowed to send it off. It feels wrong somehow. I feel like I should just yeah. let her get on with it. Yeah. And it's, yeah. it's like when we see people in the course that are like, this one teacher once said to me that I couldn't do that. And then it sticks with people forever, doesn't it? Yeah. If I say, no, you're not allowed to send it off. She'll be going to art school saying, my mum said I wasn't allowed. <laughs> Scarred for life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so wonderful to believe like that it can happen. Yes. Oh, yeah. look, Willa says, Quentin Blake's first commission was when he was 14. Hey, hey really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's well, cool. there you go. There you go. Brilliant. The world's their oyster. Yeah, exactly. There's my drawing, they're upside down. But there you go, that's it's them. my favourite doll with the wobbly legs. Why do all my dogs, my, my dolls vaguely remind me of you, Katie? <laughs> Maybe not. Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. But she's Inspired. really grumpy. I don't, I don't see your face very grumpy like that very often. She's got really big eyes and is grumpy. It's quite hard to <laughs> lost. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I did another crazy plant drawing with a lamp to hey. the side as well. <gasps> That's lovely. This paper that smells is nice. Lovely. I feel like I want to see it photocopied. You know sometimes when you just put something through a photocopier and you make it bigger, you couldn't make that bigger because it's already A3, but just a photocopy of it onto a white piece of paper, I bet that would be lovely. I quite like that it's wrinkled and sort of gone funny. I don't yeah. 
That's the magic of newsprint, isn't it? The magic of newsprint. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've only got 10 minutes left. <sighs> should we do like, uh, should we do one without the wobbling bit? I'm going to just use a stick without a wobble. A non-wobble stick. Yeah. Just a, just a simple, very hardcore stick. I'm just going to um, hold. And maybe do oh. like a five minute one so that we've got time for a dreaded 10 second animal. <laughs> 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 yes, that's a good plan. Okay, right. We've got five minutes. Five Go. minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck to my wobbly stick. I think I'm going to draw this doll much, much bigger than she really is, just to see how that. My calendar says the 18th now. That's not right. It was the 16th. There we go. What? Oh. It's still a stick. I was cocky there. I thought I had loads of control. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like I've got more control. Yeah, but you've, I've still got the nice wonkiness of the stick, though. I don't think yeah, I can like, ever. Can... I, I can never even go back to a dip pen again. Really? Well, I, I, well, a dip pen is my lifelong favourite material, but there's something so lovely about a stick. Yeah, you um, just can't tell it exactly what you want to do, and it has its yeah. own magic. Doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I think I've drawn this doll's arms too short. Ah. I have definitely. You know, I think I was doing better with the wobbly stick, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I was not doing too well here. and everything. Have you ever watched the film Will You Ever Forgive Me? <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh my goodness. It, it, it came out, it's not very, it maybe came out two years ago something like that I can't quite remember I stumbled across it I was in Glasgow and we went into Glasgow is it called Glasgow Film Theatre yeah yeah the GFT and we said let's just see whatever is on tonight because sometimes it's nice to take that potluck isn't it and just stumble into the cinema and say we'll see whatever is on and we did yes. that and we saw this film can you ever forgive me and it was absolutely incredible so good and I've always remembered it but it's not come onto TV yet, as far as I knew it hadn't. But um, uh, somebody told me that it had come onto the Disney Channel, which we have. Oh. And so I watched it again last night. Oh, my goodness, it's incredible. It's got Richard E. Grant in it. And I think he won, like, BAFTAs or... He won awards for his part in it. It's incredible. If you ever oh, get you to see it, I really recommend it. Well, I have to write it down as something I forget film recommendations immediately. But... It's really good. It's about a woman who, it's a true story about an author who's, um, she's called something Israel, Lee Israel. And she started to forge letters from writers and sell them, but they were forgeries. And then she was found out 
Oh, it's it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. It's really, really slow paced. Um, is it like really an art film? film? Uh, I don't know. It's not exactly mainstream because it's so slow, but yeah, so quiet. But it oh, it's incredible. It's just lovely. Richard E. Grant plays like a lovely actor, kind of down on his luck. And she's a kind of out of work author who's angry at the world and everybody and her agent and everybody. Uh, it's incredible. I want to watch that. I still haven't watched Wild Rose as well that Tanya was recommending. Oh yeah, I haven't either. Oh, I don't want to forget that. I'm going to write that down. Wild Rose, will you ever forgive me? So much Teddy, so little time. Hello. Cameron is here. Hi, Cameron. Helen says hi. <laughs> you said hi very quietly, did you hear her? I heard her, I heard her very quiet. Hi, hi. Quiet. <laughs> you came in, <laughs> grabbed some wires and then ran away again. What's Cameron got in his eBay shop at the moment? I need to have a look. He's always got something good in there. Oh, he's, he's like art dealer for the artists, stuff. isn't he? <laughs> he is. He's like, what do you want? i got lots of jars in here. Come and look at my jars. <laughs> I'm so chuffed with the jars I got from this garage. They're brilliant. Yeah. He was taking some garden tools out to somebody today. People like buying random What, antique things. garden tools? Yeah, like really old ones. Oh, wow. <laughs> Where does he get them? Does he nick them out of people's sheds? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because people think of him, so they're like, oh, I've got all this old stuff. I I'll, I'll, might put it in the bin. Oh, no, give it maybe Cameron will want it. He's <laughs> 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 like the go-to man for uh, relieving people of their things. He should set himself up as a rag and bone man. Do you remember those? Oh, he should. The rag and bone man. Yeah. Hi, hi. Do you want to come and say hello? Come say hello. I was telling everybody about your novel. Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah. Pi. You say hello. Here's Pi. Hello. Very cool that you're writing a novel. Hello. Look at my wobbly stick, Pi. It's too wobbly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She had to snap it in half because it was so long that it was virtually in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> my first drawing is just lines. <laughs> so it was not a good time. Oh, Casey. Guess what? Oh. Uh oh, did the timer not go off? <laughs> I've done something to the timer and it's not gone off. It's because I you mentioned it. I genuinely it. like a hot flush. I feel embarrassed. <laughs> I'm going off about how good I am with the timer now. <laughs> I didn't even press start. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, well. Oh, is Pi still there? She's got encouragement from Viv. Pi, come here. Well, here's here's Viv. She says hi. Keep writing. How many words has your novel got so far? We've got nineteen thousand and eighty-eight. What? Oh no, nineteen thousand eight hundred eight. That is amazing. Yeah. yeah, it's really good as well. It's really suspenseful. It's a mystery, yeah. and it genuinely does keep you kind of what's gonna happen. And it's got seventy-seven pages so far. Wow, you could write it. That's like a dissertation for university, isn't it? I think I wrote less words. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, me and my friend have been writing it every single lunchtime. Wow. Dedication. So they've opened like a Google Doc. Not like a Google Doc, it is a Google Doc. Yeah. And they both write on it together. So even at the same time, one will be writing on one part of it and one will be writing Actually, on the other part. Go of it. Do that now. Are you going to do it now? Brilliant. Go on then. See Goodbye, ya. offer. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone in the comments is like, amazing, wow! <laughs> that's, that's one of my favourite things about Google Docs is when somebody else is in the document and they can be like, hello! We do that happy. with a good shape, don't we? Sometimes we're yeah. both in there, or Tanya's in there at the same time. And sometimes I'll type, hello! And then the person just vanishes. I think that's Tanya. I think when I that's write hello and it's Tanya, Tanya, she runs away. <laughs> I interact with the, with the spirits. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, shall we do the ridiculous 10 second animal now? Let's do the ridiculous 10 second animal. Okay. I am going to press start on the timer. I am. 
Okay, oh, so 10 second animal is where I set the timer for 10 seconds. People start writing animals in the comments. Katie choose one, chooses one, shouts it out. Before anybody can do a Google search, I press start and then madness happens. It's, a, it's just a disaster. <laughs> no Googling. <laughs> And we I don't will know, know how this started, Google. but I think it was down to Katie. Probably my fault, yeah. I used to play this, <laughs> even when I was lecturing master's students, I'd be like, right, we're going to play 10 second animals. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to do really serious stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you paid okay, Laura to say donkey? Animal. Huh? Okay. Did you pay somebody to say donkey again? <laughs> yeah, every week. <laughs> <laughs> and you never read it. Okay. okay, I see you on. I think you've seen it. Goose or Goyce, as Viv wrote first time. Goyce. Are we doing goose? Goose. Yes. Okay, go. Goose. Are right. you using your stick to draw it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was silly, wasn't it? Because I've hardly dipped it in the ink and we're at four, two seconds left. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Well, it's oh. pretty good. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I like oh, look at the beak. The beak is just right. Yeah. Oh, that's Nailed it. something special there. Look at the legs as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh, we'll keep him. Do not lose that, Katie. That is really no. good. Mine's I'm gonna mine's frame a disaster. it and put it. Mine's a disaster. <laughs> it's not a disaster. Look at it. <laughs> it looks sort of scared and bewildered. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I felt while I was drawing it. <laughs> So good. Uh, the joys of 10 second animal. They never, <laughs> never fail to be silly. The humiliation of 10 second animals. <laughs> uh, oh, well, that's, that's the end of Art Club. Thank you all for coming. Yeah, thanks, everybody. Um, and if you share your work, use the hashtag GoodShipLO so we can see what you're doing. Um, and you can share the mess with hashtag Art Club Aftermath. Yeah. Brilliant. And yes. we'll be back yes. at seven o'clock next week. So for the rest of April, we'll be back Friday night at seven o'clock. And if you know what I was going to say, do you know what I was going to say? If you miss it, if you missed it, you can catch up on Instagram TV. <laughs> Everybody's yes. here who's here, aren't they? <laughs> oh. Just press But if you stop. did miss it, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. See you. Bye, Tanya. See ya.